Hi. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Power Automate interview questions for senior engineers. First, how can I use Power Automate to create a flow that can handle multiple parallel flows and coordinate their actions? You can use the parallel branches action in Power Automate to handle multiple parallel flows. Additionally, you can use the join action to coordinate the actions of the parallel flows and ensure that they are executed in the correct order. Second, how can I use Power Automate to create a flow that can handle a large number of concurrent requests and prevent overloading of resources? You can use the throttling action in Power Automate to handle a large number of concurrent requests and prevent overloading of resources. This action allows you to set a maximum number of requests that can be processed at one time, and queues any additional requests until resources are available. Third, how can I use Power Automate to create a flow that can handle a large amount of data and prevent performance issues? You can use the pagination action in Power Automate to handle a large amount of data and prevent performance issues. This action allows you to retrieve and process the data in smaller chunks, rather than all at once. Additionally, you can use the compression action to compress large data before processing. Fourth, how can I use Power Automate to create a flow that can handle dynamic inputs and adapt its actions accordingly? You can use the dynamic content feature in Power Automate to handle dynamic inputs and adapt its actions accordingly. This feature allows you to reference specific fields or variables in the input, rather than hard coding values into the flow, which allows the flow to adapt its actions based on the input. Fifth, how can I use Power Automate to create a flow that can handle real-time data streams and perform actions in near real-time? You can use the event grid trigger in Power Automate to handle real-time data streams and perform actions in near real-time. This trigger allows you to subscribe to events from various Azure services and perform actions on the incoming data as soon as it is available. Additionally, you can use the Stream Analytics action to perform real-time data analysis on the incoming data stream. Well, that's it for today's video. We hope you learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date.